guys, today I'm going to be talking to you about the new 3.0 software um, that was released by Apple uh, on Tuesday the 17th of March. Now, um, this is a beta, it's not officially released to the public yet, the um, beta is available to download if you are a standard um, member of the Apple Developer Connection. Now. Um, what I mean by standard is a standard package which is ninety nine dollars now um if you're like me who is a uh, user or is actually a member of the Apple developer connection but only uses the free um, SDK then if you're thinking about downloading the leaked 3.0 beta firmwares um, then I would think again because um, if you download them and use them on your iPhone restore to it um, with 3.0 then all you're gonna get is a connect to iTunes logo and um, that's it basically you can't restore either to a lower downgrade sorry to a lower firmware because um, uh, the new 3.0 upgrades your baseband so um, you're pretty uh, buggered basically because um, however I say that but there is a way to um, uh, bypass this um, uh, error or message that blocks you from uh, doing anything with it. Um, apparently, you have to turn off all your uh, connections um, that enables you to get on the internet. So um, then it should um, remove the message from iTunes that is stopping you from doing anything, restore, uh, restoring, or um, accessing your Springboard from uh, your iPhone. So um, that is basically the warning message about the uh, leaked betas that are around at the moment. Um, obviously, if you are a um, standard developer, you probably know this, but um, yeah, go ahead and download it because uh, you are obviously a um, proper official registered one. But um, as for the moment, I'm going to talk to you about the what is included in the 3.0 software. Um, it has over 100 new features and I know I really can't wait for this to come out because uh, it looks amazing to me. But um, I'm not exactly sure on the specific date that this is going to be coming out but um, I pr I'm pretty sure that it will be out in June. Um, not sure exactly on the specific date as I said. Um, it may be June the 9th, that's a guess, it may be a pretty good guess, but I guess we'll have to find out. But, um, so the event was presented by um, Scott Forstall, as you know Steve Jobs is not well, but, um, so I'll run for you through you with a few features, um, these are not all of them, they're just the uh, main ones, but um, I'll run through them briefly, you can check the full description of them out at my um, website I'll put a description on the right but um, so the first one is cut copy and paste now this is probably one of the most frequently requested um, features and it is finally here so um, yeah basically in order to access this you have to double tap the words that you want to copy and then it, two markers appear either side of the word you uh, can drag them to uh, select the group of text you want and uh, then just select copy or cut from the toolbar and uh, then you can do exactly the same in any other text field and um, it should uh, paste it for you so um, that's briefly cut copy and paste next is MMS uh, multimedia messaging support in the uh, messaging application now um, this basically enables you to send photos and um, not only does it allow you send photos it has also added um, audio v cards and locations now if you don't know what v cards are they are basically contacts so um, other iPhones can send audio messages from um, the um, voice memos application which I'll talk to you about uh, a little later and um, yeah v cards contacts and locations from the maps application so uh, that will be very useful um, also Unfortunately, this um, MMS feature will not be available for 
for, uh, first generation iPhone users. Um, Apple claim that the radio won't be able to support it, so um, that's a bit of a downside. Um, and uh, it's also you can also use it in landscape mode, so you can use the larger keyboard. Um, that's it for that one. Now uh, Spotlight, which um, I'm sure Mac users are familiar with. It's basically a search function, um, and that's now been brought to the iPhone. So all you have to do is move over to the left, and um, yeah, just search for whatever you want. It searches through contacts, calendars, mail, iPod, notes, text messages, most things basically. It's a little like Quick Gold if you're familiar with that, but um, just a lot nicer interface. So um, now onto the voice memos, which I talked about in the MMS a bit. Um, I'm pretty sure you know what it is, just a recording application really. Um, it does look a little like a third party application. Um, not that that's a bad thing, but um, I was a little disappointed with the um, icon that they have given it. This is an official Apple application if you uh, didn't get that. But um, yeah, I don't really like it, It doesn't. I don't think it fits in with all the colourful, um, professional looking icons that um, Apple gave its other native applications like um, stocks and weather and all that sort of stuff but um, I guess there's time to change that but um, I doubt they will um, so uh, that's basically a few that um, I just talked about there but obviously there are others, hundreds of other features um, push notification, tethering, turn by turn GPS, note syncing and shake to shuffle which um, I'm sure you will look forward to, I definitely will. Um, that's a feature that was in the Nano and has now been brought to iPhone and iPod Touches. So, um, yeah, I think that's about it. Oh, also, the um, software will be available to iPhone users for free, but um, unfortunately, iPod Touch users will have to pay $10 or £7, but um, I will uh, have a link for you. Um, probably to the firmware for uh, free so uh, stay tuned by subscribing and um, I think that's all I've got to say for you so uh, please subscribe and uh, thanks for watching bye